Well, we're going to look at creating a pull down combo box and actually having a subform that when we select say Morty number 7 it shows you what courses are in. So we're having a combo box actually drive the subform. So let's have a look at how we do this. Now the first thing you need is to create a form and we're just going to create a blank form. So we're just going to create a form and design view. Now the first thing we're going to do is select the form. So it's got a square on the top and we're actually going to bind this form to an actual table. So it needs to be bound to table students because we want to get the student ID. Next I'm going to select the combo box and I'm just going to draw a square box on the stage. Now what this does is give me some options but this time what we want to do is find a record on my form based on the value I selected in my combo box. So we're going to select the very last one and click on next. I still want to see student ID, first name, last name, date of birth, click on next and uncheck so we see the student ID. And we're going to call this selected student so we know what the field is and click on finish. The next thing we need to do is actually create the subform. So we're going to head up and once again we're going to go to create and we're going to go into our form wizard and I'm going to select this time the transaction table so I'm going to go up and go enrollments and I want to see the student ID, the course that they're in and then I'm going to head into courses and I want to get the title of the course that they're enrolled in. If you want to see costs etc you can do so but at this point in time I just want to see title. Just going to click on next, I want to have student ID, course title, click on next and this time because it's just going to be a view going down the page I'm just going to go data sheet next and then we're going to give it a name so in this case here SFRM students student enrollment and click on finish so this will create my form which I can then close and once again I can take my student enrollment and drop that on the stage much the same we did with the form sub form in previous videos I'm not going to worry about making it look better and adjusting the look of the form but I'm just now going to run it and at the moment you can actually see that one is selected so if I go through and select um, student number seven you can see the fields associated with that will come up at the moment I can edit so you can turn those parameters off as well now to do that what we're going to do is go into design again I'm going to select the form and in underneath data allow edits we can turn to no we can also turn off additions and also deletions so this way the form won't be allowed to be changed so now when I head back in I'll just go command s and save my form so this will be frm and we'll call it student enrollment and click on ok when I run this as I select the student now so we go to Rick and if I try to edit down below I can't and I can't make any adjustments either if I select on other options. If you have a look around my YouTube channel you'll also see tutorials on creating your own personal navigation and this will help improve the form. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Give it a like, subscribe to my channel, have a look around my YouTube channel as well for other useful access database tutorials and other tutorials on creating databases and I wish you all the best in your database development.